What I see happening with a lot of kids these days is that they start chasing the money too soon. They go for the big industry jobs, they don't follow their passion. And what they'll find out, unfortunately, a little bit later, is that people really don't work for money. Uh, it's not what gets you out of, the, out of bed in the morning. It's essential, it's nice to have, but it's really not what gets you excited when you go to work in the morning. So I would encourage people to follow their passion, to follow their excitement first, and then the money will come later. There is nothing that compares to the thrill of, of finding something out that nobody else has known before. And then the great pride that you experience if you get to write that up in a paper and see your name in print, or get to present it at a conference and tell people about something that you have discovered about the world that nobody else has known before. For the scientists uh, that I know, they, they, that's what they live for. They are consumed by it. Research, it is a bit scary because it tells you a lot about yourself. It teaches you something about yourself. You have to be the one that acts. Uh, that's also where, for instance, graduate school and doing a PhD differs from undergraduate school. In undergraduate school, the professors give you the information and you just consume it and you regurgitate it back to us. In, in graduate school, when you do a piece of research, you are the acting agent. You have to rely on yourself to drive the research forward and the, at the end come up with results. So what research has taught me, it has taught me a lot about myself. It has actually uh, given me a tremendous amount of self-confidence. It uh, has really allowed me to rely on myself and I've taken that throughout my career. I think it actually put me at a competitive advantage. Uh, I saw the people that I worked with that didn't have PhDs and they always had difficulty with managing change, with starting something new and bringing it to a finish. For me, that was always easy because of my research background. I knew what it was to start something new. I knew what it took to drive it forward and to, to finish it. I'm 47 right now, and since I've told my friends that I'm going to UT as a professor, uh, you wouldn't believe the, the number of people that are coming up to me and say, oh, I'm so sorry that I didn't get a more advanced degree, that I didn't get a master's or a PhD. I'd like to do it now, but I don't have the time anymore. I have a family, I have commitments, I have a mortgage to pay off. Uh, it just doesn't uh, allow any time for me to do it. So making that investment right now is the smart thing to do because you may not do it any other time in your life. Life is not a straight path. Um, you can switch back and forth. That's what I'm doing right now. I've worked for 20 years for Shell. I have nothing but good things to say uh, about Shell. It's been a great time. I've learned a lot. I've traveled the globe. But now I really want to go back to making contributions in teaching and doing R&D again. I love doing that. Because I have the PhD, I can do that. Because of the PhD, um, the University of Texas has uh, gracefully uh, offered me the professorship. And that's what I meant with uh, the PhD giving you that flexibility.